There's a short story which, again, demonstrates that narcissists are narcissists and doesn't make a difference what gender. It works both ways. And in this particular one, this is a 180 from what I normally do. In this situation, it is the wife who is wronged by her scumbag, narcissistic husband. And wait till you hear his level of excuses and all the things that go on. It is exactly like what you hear in the stories where the woman, the wife, is the one doing wrong. And this, this lady telling the story here is wondering, obviously, did she go too far? Very entertaining. Title. Am I the a hole for divorcing my husband after catching him in bed with our married neighbor and exposing her to her husband? And a shout out to Boro for sending me this story. She says here, this is honestly such a mess. I don't know if I handled it right, the right way, but here I go. She says, I'm 34 years old and have been married to my husband, a 36-year-old male, for seven years. Okay, so she got married 27 and him 29. We have an eight-year-old autistic son, and life's already been pretty stressful for both of us. I thought we were handling it as a team, like we were in this together, until a few weeks ago when everything fell apart. So, okay, they have an eight-year-old child, and uh, the child obviously t t requires a lot of extra work. And look how he's handling it. We live in a small neighborhood where everyone's pretty friendly. <laughs> Define friendly. And I get along well with our next door neighbors, Emily, a 32-year-old female, and her husband, Dave, a 35-year-old male. Emily and I weren't super close, but we chatted often. Our kids played together sometimes, and our husbands would occasionally hang out too. At first, I thought it was nice that my husband and Emily seemed to get along, you know, just neighbors being friendly. So already, this woman hangs out with this neighbor on occasion. The kids play together, play dates, playground, whatever, and the husbands occasionally hang out. But then things started to feel off. Husband became more secretive, especially with his phone. He always seemed to bump into Emily when, it, it, when I wasn't around. Well, he's doing a lot of bumping with Emily. He'd go out for random walks or suddenly need to run errands right after dinner. I noticed these little things, but I didn't want to seem paranoid. I mean, we've been through a lot together. I didn't think he would do something to me like that. So notice, same behavior. Guarding the phone, on the phone all the time. Out, suddenly having to go out, suspicious behavior. It's the same crap that the women pull in these stories. Then one day, everything came crashing down. I had to come home early from work, unexpectedly because our son's school had a half day that I forgot about. I walked in, and there in our bedroom, I found my husband and Emily together. Talk about two pieces of garbage in your own house, in your own bed, next to the bedroom where your kid sleeps. He's pulling this shit, and this is the, 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 the woman that she occasionally is friendly with and does play dates with. I felt like the world stopped. They both freaked out when they saw me. My husband is scrambling for his clothes, and Emily crying out saying, It was a mistake, and she was so sorry. <laughs> it's the same fucking thing all the time. I couldn't even process it. I just walked out, shaking, and went to pick up my son from school. Well, those two are scumbags. Well... And this husband of hers is screwed, and we all know it. Later that night, I confronted my husband, and he admitted to having an affair with her for the past few months. He begged me to forgive him. It was said it was a stupid, impulsive thing, and he swore he loved me and didn't want to lose our family. Hear that? The same freaking crap that the women say in all the other stories I cover. Say, I love you so much. Yeah, yeah, okay, I can tell how much you love when you're banging Emily D style in the bed when I walked in. Yeah, I can tell how much you love me. I was heartbroken, but I couldn't even look at him. I had no idea what to do, but I knew I couldn't stay with someone who would betray me like that. I don't blame you. Kick his ass to the curb. Now, there's going to be some guys in the comments section saying, SSM, how do you know that she been hasn't been denying him SCX for all these years? How do you know she hasn't been a big, giant bitch? Okay, let's say, say she was. Well, then he should have divorced her, not done this, you know? Then there was Emily's husband, Dave. I knew well enough to know he was completely in the dark about all this. I couldn't just stay silent and let him be blindsided like I was. So the next day, I went over to their house while Emily was out and told Dave everything. I even showed him proof. Texts, pictures, everything I had. Well, she didn't mention that part yet. I guess she did her homework. I guess she was doing some digging afterwards. I don't know. He was devastated, obviously, but he thanked me for being honest with him. This lady had every right to tell the neighbor Dave. Dave needs to know. Now, what's this? Out comes the narcissism. 
And that's when the real drama started. Both my husband and Emily went ballistic when they found out that I told Dave. My husband said I should have been kept it between us and worked it out for the sake of our son. Um, hey asshole, you're the one that was cheating in our bed, need I remind you. And your bitch ass little mistress was cheating on her husband. He deserves to know. And don't tell me about protecting our son. You should have been thinking about that when you weren't banging the neighbor. Emily called me all kinds of names saying I had no right to tell her husband that I ruined her life. Bitch, you ruined your own life. Need I need to elaborate? Narcissist guys, everybody else is the problem except them. She even claimed it wasn't serious that I blew everything out of proportion. Wasn't serious. I caught you hooking up in my bed. Supposedly it's been going on for months. We mean it's not serious. Situation was reversed. You think it's pretty serious. Now Dave is considering divorcing her, and I've already filed for divorce myself. But I'm getting a lot of flack from mutual friends, saying I went too far by telling Dave and I should try to keep things private to avoid tearing apart two families. See? Just like the regular situation, she should have every right to tell this guy. These mutual friends of hers are probably friends with them too, and they don't want their little social circle to be disrupted, so they want to just keep things as is because they're selfish assholes. You think they wouldn't want to know if their spouse was cheating? Come on here. I tell all these mutual friends to go fuck themselves. I felt like I did what I had to do, but I'm questioning myself now. Am I the a-hole for divorcing my husband and telling Emily's husband about the affair? Should I keep quiet and handle it differently? No. You have a right to do what you did. And some people can claim vengeance or, or, or wanting revenge. Well, well, duh, vengeance is running revenge. Of course, it's the same fucking thing. Some people may say you did it for that, but fine. You deserve a little payback. You know, come on here. But um, no. That Dave guy deserved to know, and he can handle things accordingly. And you're allowed to handle things the way you went to. It's nobody else's business. But I can see how she and some guys went in this situation and think that when everybody's telling him one thing. No. You did the right thing. And here's the thing. You know, this is a men's channel, but I try to be fair here. This husband of hers is a fucking douchebag. So, um, we all know darn well this guy's screwed royally. And if they're in an at-fault state, good God. Even if they're in a... Uh, um, no fault divorce state still he's gonna get screwed and you know it that house that's going to her the kids gonna stay with her he's gonna be paying alimony he's gonna be ch child support extra money because the kid probably needs additional care he's fucked you know and uh, you know she'll be able to be a witness to help Dave and maybe in his his divorce so no she's not the a-hole but I'm doing this video guys like I said it goes the same freaking way and narcissists are narcissists they're gonna say the same old crap now a couple comments for on this one guy says, not the a-hole. You tell your piece of crap husband to shut the F up and listen to this. Call his family, your family, and your close friends, and let them know you're filing for divorce for those that don't know. And while you're filing, you caught him and Emily in your bed hooking up. In other words, control the narrative. Well, there should be no problem with a woman controlling the narrative here. They did this to themselves by having an affair. Uh, what you say to, to harass is, is you ruined your own effing life by effing my husband. To the rest of your friends and family who keep saying you went too far, tell them this, F you. Thank you for showing me your support, of, your support abusive a-holes. Now I know who my real friends and family are. Exactly. It's sad, but these situations in life do come up when people really do find out who is with them and who is not with them. And those that are not with you, cast them aside. You know, it's like spring cleaning, except this may happen every 10 years or something like that. So, no, she's not the a-hole. Kick him to the curb. Good luck. May the force be with you. And again, this is Narcissist or Narcissist.